You're listening to the Miss Artastic Podcast. Inspiration for art teachers. Here's your host, Kathleen McGivern. From cave walls to masterpieces, tracing the evolution of art his- of art through history. Explore the fascinating world of art with your elementary and middle school students as we journey from cave walls to masterpieces tracing the evolution of art through history. This podcast outlines the engaging activities and insights into uh, key art periods from historic modern times, uh, from sorry, from prehistoric times to modern digital art. Um, helping students discover the rich tapestry of human creativity across cultures and um, ages. Ignite their passion for art, culture, and history today. Art is a magical gateway to understanding our history, culture, and the boundless realms of human creativity. For teachers in elementary and middle school, introducing young minds to the enchanting world of art history can be a profound and enlightening journey. In this podcast episode, From Cave Walls to Masterpieces, Tracing the Evolution of Art Through History, we embark on an exploration that spans thousands of years, unraveling the captivating story of art's uh, evolution. Art has always been a language of expression, and as we delve into its history, we uncover not only the strokes of genius that have adorned our past, but also the remarkable tales of civilizations, emotions, and innovations that have shaped our world. From the (laughs) enigmatic cave paintings of our prehistoric ancestors to the digital masterpieces of today, This journey promises to inspire, wonder, and spark curiosity among your students. Why teach art history to elementary and middle school students, you may ask. Um, The answer is simple. Uh, It's more about, it's more than just aesthetics. Uh, Art history provides a, Uh, a unique lens through which students can really explore history, culture, and sociology and psychology. It fosters critical thinking, creativity, and empathy, all while nurturing a deeper appreciation for the beauty and diversity of the world around us. So let's embark on this extraordinary voyage through time and creativity as we equip you with the insights, activities, and knowledge to make this Make the study of art history a dynamic and enriching experience for your students. From the first strokes on the cave walls to the mesmerizing digital creations of the present day, join me as we unlock the mysteries, stories, and masterpieces that define the evolution of art. The dawn of of art, prehistoric times. In the shadowy depths of of prehistory when our ancestors roamed the earth, they left behind a profound legacy that continues to mesmerize us today. These early humans whose existence predates (laughs) recorded history may not have written words or or had sophisticated tools, but they possessed something really uh, equally extraordinary, the ability to communicate through art. The vivid saga of Prehistoric art begins begins with awe-inspiring cave paintings that adorn the interiors of ancient caves, uh, transporting us back to a time when humanity was still carving its path in the world. Among these astonishing works of art, the Lacoste cave paintings and the Altamira caves stand out as icons as prehistoric creativity. These masterpieces, dating back tens of thousands of years, unveil a world where mammoth, mammoths, bison, and other prehistoric creatures came to life on cave walls. Through intricate, skillful depictions, um, through their skillful, intricate, skillful depictions. But beyond their breathtaking aesthetics, these artworks offer a glimpse into the minds cult- and cultures of our distinct, uh, distant ancestors. They hint at their spiritual beliefs, their hunting practices, and perhaps even their yearning for artistic expression. For elementary and middle school students, uh, exploring the 
enigmatic realm of prehistoric art not only ignites their imaginations, but also invites them to contemplate the universal language that transcends time and connects us to our ancient past. Through hands-on activities like replicating cave art, students can step into the shoes of early artists, fostering a deeper understanding of the human story and enduring power of creativity. Ancient civilizations, Egypt, Greece, and Rome. As we journey through art history, our next stop takes us to the magnificent realm of ancient civilizations where art became a uh, vibrant tapestry interwoven with culture, religion, and power. In the rich lands along the Nile River, the ancient Egyptians left an indelible mark with their iconic hieroglyphs and monumental architecture. Their hieroglyphs were not just an alphabet, they were a symbol of deeply spiritual of a deeply spiritual society and a way of recording history um, and a means of paying homage to their pharaohs and gods their pyramids temples and sculptures such as the great sphinx and the bust of Nef Neferedi, um, uh continue to be and uh, continue to be marvels of the ancient artistry moving westward um, we arrive in greece the cradle of democracy and western civilization here art transcends um, its utilitarian purpose to become a celebration of human potential. The classical period gave birth to statues like the Venus de Milo and the Discobolus, um, each, of the, for the, each a testament of the Greeks' profound admiration um, for the human form and their pursuit of the aesthetic perfection. Greek art championed ideals of balance and harmony and the pursuit of knowledge um, inspiring countless generations to come. Further along our journey, we encounter the Roman Empire where art, where art fused elements of Greek aesthetics with the Romans' own grandeur and um, engineering prowess. Roman art was, just not, was not just an expression of beauty, but also a tool of propaganda as emperors commissioned statues and monuments to glorify their reigns. The iconic Colosseum and the Pantheon and intricate mosaics in villas showcase the Romans' architectural and artistic prowess, leaving an indelible mark on the art and conquest and, and the on, indelible mark on the art of conquest and governance. governance. For elementary and middle school students, delving into art of these ancient civilizations is a mesmerizing experience. It offers glimpse into the hearts and minds of people who lived thousands of years ago, helping students connect with humans, um, with the human story on a global scale. By engaging in activities like designing Egyptian hieroglyphs, sculpting Greek style figures, or crafting Roman mosaics, students can explore the beauty and complexity of these ancient worlds while fostering a deeper appreciation for the art that still echoes through time. Renaissance art, the age of Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo. <clears throat> journey through art history takes a thrilling leap forward as we arrive in the vibrant heart of the Renaissance, a period often described as the rebirth of art, culture, and human achievement. This extraordinary era spanning from 14th to 17th century brought forth an explosion of creativity that reshaped the artistic landscape of Europe. Among the luminaries who emerged during this transformative time, Two names stand out as giants in the world, Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo Buon. <laughs> no, ready? I'm not even gonna go there. I've actually never seen his last name. Sad moment. Okay, Leonardo da Vinci, uh, often hailed as the quintessential Renaissance man, embodied the era's spirit of inquiry and exploration. His masterpiece, his artistic masterpieces, including the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, are celebrated not only for their exquisite beauty, but off, off also for their meticulous, meticulous attention to detail and pioneering techniques. And oh my, the symbolism embedded is like a puzzle worth staring at. 
Da Vinci's notebooks filled the sketches, filled with sketches, scientific observations, and inventions reveal a brilliant mind constantly seeking to bridge the gap between art and science, a hallmark of the Renaissance ethos. On the other side of Italy, in Florence, another genius was at work, Michelangelo. His sculptures like the David and the Piera uh, showcase an unparalleled mastery of form and an ability to carve life from stone. Michelangelo's influence extended beyond the sculpture. Uh, his epic frescoes on the ceilings of the Sistine Chapel are a testament to his artistic ambition and unwavering dedication. Um, this, the intricate interplay of human figures and biblical narratives in this monumental work remains a defining moment in the history of art. Teaching elementary and middle school students about the Renaissance is a thrilling adventure and it's a chance to introduce them to the ideals of humanism, the profound transformations in art and culture, and the enduring legacy of brilliant minds like Leonardo and Michelangelo. Engaging in activities like creating Renaissance-inspired drawings allows students to appreciate the fusion of art, science, and intellect that uh, characterize this remarkable period, inspiring them to embrace the boundless possibilities of creativity in their own lives. The Age of Innovation, Impressionism and Post-Impressionism. As we continue on our journey through our history, we arrive at the time of a groundbreaking innovation and a departure from traditional norms of artistic representation. The 19th century marked the birth of Impressionism and its later evolution into Post-Impressionism, two art movements that dared to challenge conventions, redefine beauty, and transform the way we perceive the world. Impressionism, which emerged in France during the late 1800s, was a rebellion against the rigid academic standards of time. Impressionist painters such as Claude Monet, Pierre-Auguste Renoir, and Camille Pissarro uh, sought to capture fleeting moments of light, color, and atmosphere. They painted on plein, on plein air, uh, embracing the spontaneity of nature and everyday life. The hallmark of Impressionist art is, is its emphasis on brushwork, color theory, and the play of light, resulting in masterpieces like Monet's Water Lilies and Renoir's Luncheon on the, of the Boating Party. Post-Impressionism is a natural progression from Impressionism, retained, um, retained a fascination with color and light, but pushed the boundaries even further. Artists like Vincent van Gogh, Paul Cézanne, and Georges Seurat uh, explored avenues of expression. Of expression. Uh, Van Gogh's emotionally charged uh, and vibrant works such as A Starry Night and Sunflowers revealed the power of art to convey deep feelings and personal experiences. Cézanne's de uh, geometric approach and Seurat's uh, pointillism technique added complexity and structure to their compositions, challenging the viewer to see the world in different light. For elementary and middle school students, the Impressionist and Post-Impressionist periods offer a fascinating exploration of how artists can capture the essence of a moment and evoke emotion through color and form. Engaging in activities that mimic these styles, like experimenting with brushstroke techniques or creating pointless artworks, not only deepens uh, students' understanding of these movements, but also encourages them to view the world with fresh perspective Appreciating the, appreciating the beauty in the everyday and the power of artistic innovation. Modern and contemporary art, the 20th century and beyond. As we venture further into the ever evolving landscape of art history, we arrive, into the, we arrive at the 20th century, a period marked by unprecedented um, artistic diversity, innovation, and a shifting cultural para paradigm. Modern and contemporary art during this time, um, during this era and beyond, challenged traditional boundaries and gave a uh, voice to a rapidly changing world. The birth of modernism. 
20th century witnessed um, the rise of modernism, a movement characterized by a break from tradition um, and the exploration of new artistic languages. Artists like Pablo Picasso and George Barak uh, pioneered um, Cubism, which shattered traditional perspectives and reassembled reality in geometric and fragmented forms. Meanwhile, the silly Kandinsky developed, delved into abstract art and emphasized color and form over recognizable subjects. These artists shattered conventional notion, the shattered the conventional notion of what art should be, ushering in a new era of creative freedom. Surrealism and data. In the aftermath of World War I, surrealism and data emerged as an artistic response to the chaos and disillusionment of the era. Of the era. Salvador Dali's dreamlike Irrational paintings and Marcel Duchamp's provocative ready-mades challenged the societal norms and questioned the very definition of art. These movements opened the doors to subconscious and the irrational, reshaping how we perceive reality and imagination. Contemporary art. The later half of the 20th century and the 21st century have seen an explosion of diverse artistic movements and styles. Pop art with the artists with artists like Andy Warhol celebrated the everyday and the mass produced, stripping down, or sorry, reflecting the consumer um, culture of the time. Minimalism stripped art down to its essence, emphasizing simplicity and pure form. Performance art, conceptual art, and digital art challenge conventional notions of artistic medium and audience interaction. Art as social commentary. Contemporary art often serves as a powerful platform for social commentary and activism. Artists like Ai Weiwei, um, Banksy, and Jenny Holzer use their work to address pressing global issues. From human rights to environmental concerns, their art provokes thought sparks conversation and calls for action. Introducing elementary and middle school students to modern and contemporary art provides an opportunity to explore the changing world worldviews and ideas and values that have shaped art in the 20th and 21st centuries. Engaging students in activities inspired by modern and contemporary artists can encourage them to think critically, express themselves creatively, and to consider the role of reflecting uh, the and shaping society. Sorry, there's a fly flying around me. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> um, it's a journey into the vibrant, diverse, and ever-evolving world of art that invites student, students to question, create, and imagine like never before. Art across cultures, uh, exploring non-Western traditions. Our voyage through art history has, until now, primarily focused on Western art history traditions. However, the um, world of art is, is a vast and diverse as the cultures that create it, and our journey would be incomplete without a meaningful exploration of art from non-Western traditions. These traditions offer a wealth of artistic um, expressions each with its own unique stories, techniques, and symbolism. African art. The art of Africa is a treasure trove of cultural diversity and artistic innovation. From intricate uh, wood carvings of the Sanufo people to the striking masks of the Dan tribe, um, African art is deeply rooted in spiritual and communal practices. It reflects the rich tapestry of traditions, ceremonies, and beliefs that have defined African societies for centuries. Asian art. Asia, with its ancient civilizations, has a long and profound artistic heritage. Chinese ink paintings, Japanese prints, and Indian miniature paintings are just some of the examples of the region's artistic contributions. Asian art often intertwines philosophy and spirit spirituality and nature, uh, creating a deep sense of harmony and balance in its compositions. Indigenous art. Indigenous art from various parts of the world, including North America, Australia, and the Pacific Islands, is deeply connected to the land, spirituality, and cultural identity. Totem poles, dreamtime paintings, and tapa cloth designs serve as windows into the beliefs and values of indigenous communities preserving their heritage, heritage and stories. 
Islamic art. Islamic art is a testament to the intricate beauty of geometry and calligraphy. Its rich history includes dazzling mosque uh, architecture, uh, exquisitely detailed tiles, and illuminated manuscripts. Islamic art often reflects the spiritual devotion and mathematical precision that are hallmarks of its culture. Exploring these non-Western traditions is a transformative experience, one that broadens our understanding of art as a universal language for human expression. By engaging students in activities inspired by these traditions, uh, such as creating African masks, practicing calligraphy, or exploring indigenous storytelling through art, uh, we, not, we not only foster appreciation for cultural diversity, but also encourage students to recognize the universi universality <sighs> universality of human creativity. Conclusion. <laughs> Our journey from the dawn of art to on prehistoric cave walls to the vibrant world of contemporary expression has always been an extraordinary uh, exploration of human creativity and history. We have witnessed um, the evolution of art as a mirror of reflecting the values, beliefs, and aspirations of different, of different societies and eras. Teaching art history to elementary and middle school students is more than just a study of the aesthetic beauty. It's an invitation to delve into the collective human story. As educators, you have the remarkable opportunity to ignite a lifelong passion for art, culture, and creativity in your students. By tracing the threads of artistic evolution from the grandeur of ancient uh, civilizations to the revolutionary movements of the 21st, 20th century and beyond, you empower your students to connect with their own creativity, think critically, and appreciate the rich mosaic of human expression. Remember that art is not just confined to museums and history books. It's a living, breathing force that surrounds us every day. By nurturing the artistic curiosity for your students, you inspire them to see the world with fresh eyes, to question, to imagine, and to contribute their unique voices to the ever-expanding canvas of human expression. Art is a journey without end, and with your guidance and the next the next generation of artists, thinkers, and dreamers will continue to shape the story of art for generations to come. <laughs>